Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's supplemental numismatic news and information for the 26th day of January, 2023, told you I'd do another one. Well, we're going to be talking about Vault Box. So let's pop over there right about now. So do y'all remember what Vault Box was? Well, why Vault Box? Collection, how Vault Box works. Let's go there first, shall we? Now, what Vault Box is, all right? Authenticated and created by NGC. So Vault Box, they say they carefully select coins from each series with special consideration for coins, rarity, appearance, value, and historical significance. Okay. Now, once Vault Box has acquired the coins, they send the coins to NGC, the world's preeminent coin grading service. Now, every coin in your Vault Box is authenticated by NGC. Then each Vault Box coin is graded either using NGC's 70 point Sheldon scale or in some cases, are instead submitted through NGCX, a revolutionary new service that grades coins on a 10-point scale, similar to existing grading systems for sports cards, trading cards, games, comic books, and the like. Now, once graded, coins are encapsulated in protective holders called slabs, then separated into different value groups, common, uncommon, and or rare. All right, the boxes are then packaged at NGC following a system to ensure that each box has a coin from each of the value groups. The system is designed so that there may be different types and or price points of coins within these groups, but no box will contain only the lowest value coins. Future series may contain different value groups as well as different quantities of coins per box. The boxes are sealed at NGC and aren't numbered individually before sending the vault box where the orders are fulfilled. There you go. I think this is revolutionary, folks. Um, I've been on this since the beginning, and I really do believe uh, I dig this. I mean, I dig this. So we're back at the homepage. And it says, Introducing Vault Box, the new way for collectors to experience the excitement of collecting. Absolutely. So, new way to collect um, sports card fun with precious metals value. Vault Box is authenticated by NGCX and their um, other uh, slabs, right, with the Sheldon scale. Guaranteed value in every box. And you can monetize your box at any time. See, um, coin lookup, instant offer. But that's, let's not go there. Now, they're lit. <laughs> Man. So, do you remember what it was like trying to get the Morgan dollars in 2021? Um, what, did you see the bad gateway errors? Did you see? What did you see? Did you try and get this at all? And if you did, what? Were, how long did it take? All right. It says here, Series 1 is now sold out. All right. Sold out in big, red, bold, candy-like red lettering. I get the point. I can see it. Message received loud and clear. Vault Box Series 1 sold out in just over 20 minutes. Sign up now to get notified when Series 2 will be released. Folks, are you interested in Series 2? Did you get Series 1? Let us know uh, how that went for you. And can, can you compare that to um, an experience at the United States Mint website, right? Uh, it says here, I've already gone over that. Um, Vault Box Coin uh, Series 1. Okay, we don't know what Series 2 is going to feature, but since this is the, the inaugural um, set, the Series 1, this could end up being the most valuable out of all of them. All right, three coins out of each in a box, 250 uh, varieties of U.S. Mint Eagle coins from the first year of issue to present. All coins struck from one of four precious metals, including silver, gold, platinum, or palladium. That's huge. All coins graded using NGCX Revolution 10-point grading scale. Now, we read something that said that it might not be all coins, right? So look for the Red Core Series hits. That's these here in the red. Those are worth pretty good money um, with instant offers up to 23000 And the 23000 they're talking about that, um, that V75 from 2021. They only minted like, well, they were supposed to mint 1945, and I think they got to about 1939. It says here there's limit two per customer. And the release date was January 25th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay? And the price was $595. Well, something went on about the Friday before that, January 25th, PWCC. Uh, these folks here had it for sale, all right, um, for, well, just about $650, I think. Well, nowadays, um, you can buy one, but it's $2,000 with a 20% buyer's premium. But you can't buy it. There it is. Or, well, you can go over here to eBay. And really, um, this has been a really tough one to find. It came out with, like, Vault Boy and video games. And I'm like, no, no Vault Boy, Vault Box. No X. It's, it's X, not a Y. But anyway, either way, I found one here for $1,299, free three-day shipping, 23 watchers. And um, there was another one here for like $999. I cannot find it now. Uh, it is no longer there. And I thought that was really interesting. But either way, um, pff, hey, $1,200. It was $600. So it looks like they're trying to double their money there. And, you know, let's say, you know, there's 800 of these, like they said, 800 of these vault boxes that have been produced. Now, what happens when nobody finds that $20,000 uh, dollar V75 Gold Eagle, right? And there's only 100 vault boxes left. Well, what does the price do at that point when they know that they have, the big one hasn't been found yet? What happens to those? Do people hold on to these? Do they sell them? Do they open them? Um, 
Wow, so many things going on here, folks. Well, there it is. That's the Vault Box experience. So let me know what your experience was. Um, and are you intrigued? Are you interested? And like I said, I think this is one of the biggest things that happened in coin collecting in very, very long time. And I'm all in still um, as far as the idea of, of bringing other collectors uh, from the sports trading card or trading card, uh, comic books, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, that, that, that standardized grading skill, right? That's genius. I really like that bringing in those other people. And we really do need to grow the coin community, don't we? And I think that the coin community has probably the best possible look. Okay, so of all the things that they're talking about, right, the comic books, the trading cards, uh, the video games, right, which one has the most intrinsic value worldwide globally, right? Is it gold? Is it silver? Is it video games? Is it comic books? Can you walk into any place in the world and say, hey, I've got this comic book. Give me $100,000 for it or $20,000. No. No, but you might be able to do that with some gold, right? Or some silver or some other precious metals. What about video games? I've got this video game from 2001. It's from PS1. Yeah, that system isn't played anymore, but it's it's in it still. Um, it's got its packaging and yeah, there it is. It's it's not, I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to keep it in that thing. But yeah, what are you going to do with it? Can you go to some like village in Norway and be like, yeah, look at this video game right here. Bam, you want this. Or are they going to be like, yeah, well, what else you got there? You got some gold and silver and some platinum and palladium? Yeah, they're probably going to eyeball that before your video games, comic books, and um, trading cards, I would think. Just saying. And that's, and that's you know, the SHFT. I, well, I don't even know how to say that anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But either way, listen, folks, that's the Vault Box experience. What was your experience? They are sold out. Series 2, uh, obviously, is being planned. They're going to come out with that. They want you to be on the mailing list to get notified. And, you know... Are you in? Are you out? What do you think? That's Vault Box. So there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And, well, if you do like what you hear and see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker. Hope you enjoyed the Supplemental Numismatic News. I know I did. Thanks for watching, folks. You're both all amazing and beautiful people, and you deserve to be treated with love and respect. Son of a Silver Stacker. Out.